the government of the United Kingdom has finally responded to the petition by Nigerians seeking a commonwealth sanction on some political leaders during the hashtag NSAS protest. It will be recalled that during the nationwide demonstration which was demanding good governance and an end to police brutality, the petition with 219,665 signatures was signed, was forwarded to the UK seeking that some top officials in government be sanctioned. The disgruntled Nigerians to the UK government to invoke policy that allows it to sanction anyone that has no respect for human rights around the world on some top political office holders. Worthy to mention is that the UK Parliament often considers all petitions that have 100,000 signatures for a debate, a threshold which the hashtag answers petition from Nigeria passed with over 200,000 signatures. But in a reply, the UK Parliament said it is concerned about the security of Nigerians and the wanting destruction that later marred the protests in Lagos and other states. The UK Parliament also stated that it will wait for the conclusion of the investigation instituted by the Nigerian government into the numerous cases of police brutality. However, the Parliament stated that it would not take publicly or speculate on future sanctions designations. Recall that the federal government recently was able to freeze the account of 20 hashtag answers campaigns campaigners after telling a federal high court in Abuja that the funds in their account might have been linked to terrorist activities. This is according to a written address in support of a motion expertly filed by the Central Bank of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And also, meanwhile, the Governor of Undo State, Mr. Aluaru Simakredolu SCN, recently advised some supporters of recent hashtag NSAS protests whose bank accounts were frozen by the federal government of Nigeria through the central bank to challenge the matter in court if they feel their accounts were unlawfully frozen or they were unjustly accused. So, guys, uh, we've heard about, uh, we've heard about the, the response of uh, the UK government. They said this and this and this and that. They explained the reason why they will not do anything and they want to wait for the judicial panel that has been set up here and there all over the country until that until then they will not have anything to say. But I was telling somebody one time ago that there is no country that will come and help you. There is no president of another country that will come and help you. Because if you have an opportunity, because it is in human nature, if you have opportunity of uh, riding over other persons, if the person has not really gotten his left from his right, definitely if you, naturally it happens like that, but you know, on just, but on few, but for some few, yeah, for few people, they might not want to do that, but it takes, you don't often see that, but naturally when you are always at the mercy of other people, they want to ride on you, and that is it. So if, other countries, they are getting or they are gaining anything from our country. And you think they will just come out like that and say, oh, you guys just go and get your freedom. They might come out, you know, to be politically correct because the way they responded shows that they are just trying to be diplomatic. You said you are just concerned about uh, the destruction and what have you. But they are not talking about the shooting that happened in Lekki to get. And more so, the old world saw all those protests across country. The... People who really organized this uh, insert. Of course, it was an organic one, but at least the one in Lekki took it was a reference point that every the whole world saw and they gave kudos to the organizers of those uh, of those uh, protests even across the country. But at the end of the day, we began to see that uh, some people, the hoodlums that the government is trying to talk about now, they were going to attack the same court, the same so uh, group, the uh, insert uh, protest. And nobody said anything. And the way it's been practiced all over the world, you are supposed to guide the protesters because they are asking for, for their rights. And they were not violent about it. So, to cut the long story short, if you, it is we ourselves that we need to really fight for ourselves. If you are waiting for anybody to come and do this, to come and do that, it makes no sense. The IES, the only thing they can do is just for them to, if they want to place a uh, sanction on any political uh, 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 office order, public office order, if they do want if they want to do that, that's the only thing they can do. But for them to come to your country to say, oh, you have to do this or you have to control your your leadership to do this or to do that, they won't do that. 
and that is what I have come to recognize. And also those the people that uh, wrote this petition, what were they seeking for? To be able to ban these same uh, politicians or these same leaders that they think that are not doing the right thing. That is the highest that can be done. Then what now happens if we are talking about good governance? Because even if they don't go to one country, they can go to another country. Even if they don't go to another country, they can still be there and be living large. They be living large and at the expense of the masses and they will continue to maltreat the masses. So it will not even solve anything. And I tell somebody, say, no, we are the ones that will fight this whole thing. And at times I just laugh at those people who are even trying to bring a U.S. election back to Nigeria. They, nobody has your time. Nobody has your time to come and be telling you that they, they want to fight for you. No, because they, if they have, they, since they have upper hand, as it is now, they have upper hand on most of these uh, African countries, especially Nigeria. So you expect them to come and fight for you when every country trying to be superior than other people. So if they allow you to get your own whatever, they you not start competing with them. It's not going to happen. No matter what it will take, we are the ones that will fight for our right and get it at the end of the day. Of course, a lot of things have been put in place, like fear, poverty here and there. A lot of things that can discourage the masses are already there. Uh, created by the so-called leadership. So if you will think that other country will help us, no, 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 they won't do that. They will not do that. At government level, they, their language are always, you know, the same. They speak the same language compared to the masses. They have the all the machinery to 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 take down anybody. I mean the government. So we are the one that will continue to push forward and get what we want at the end of the day. But waiting for other people to come and fight for us or to come and help us. Uh, they are the ones that will come and do our road. They do budgeting and all of that that we always complain corruption here and there. They are not going to do that. On, we will continue to, to, to talk. We will continue to complain. No matter the intimidation. Until we get it right. And the funniest thing is that the masses, the number of the masses are more than the, the so-called leaders. So we should not just give, give up. But waiting for all these people to come and help us, it's not going to happen. It will not happen. And yes, see what they are talking about. But by adventure, they later sanction those people. Will that bring good governance to us? No, they will even be so brutal again that, oh, you guys are doing this, you guys are doing that. And the, the policies that they are supposed to take to better the lives of the people, they won't do that. The highest the people, these people can do is just to sanction them. Okay, don't come to our country. And will that help us in the long run? No, in my opinion, I don't think so. Well, uh, the handwork of Nigerians' enemy, who do you want to uh, sanction to increase more suffering? Why are political leaders are so wicked? After the destruction of lives and properties, selfishness will always deal with them. Okay, the news is not from UK, but from Tinumbu people. Okay, <laughs> this person is really, really funny. Anything can happen, you know, as far as Nigeria is concerned. The more you look, the less you see. So, guys, let's have your take in the comment section. Thank you.